So what we're going to do now is uh, something that's typically referred to as an inventory control problem. And it's a scenario where you have a warehouse or some inventory and you want to uh, minimize your costs of, of uh, maintaining some inventory. So we'll set up a problem. So a company sells a hundred pool tables a year and we're going to assume that the demand is constant throughout the year. Uh, there may be issues where a product has seasonal demand, but let's just say pool tables, constant demand over the course of the year. And we know that it cost $10 a year to store one table. And if we're ordering pool tables for our warehouse, each time you place an order, it's $21 plus $14 per table. So what we want to do is we want to, our goal is to minimize cost. So what we're going to do is we have these 105 pool tables, do we want to order them all at once and have them throughout the year? Do we want to order half of them now, half of them later? Do we want to, how are we going to do this? Do we want to, the, the goal in mind of minimizing costs. So our costs are going to be a combination of things. It's going to be ordering costs plus storage costs. So we place orders, that costs some money, and we store tables, and that's going to cost money. So let's break down our. Uh, our various costs. So our ordering costs. Each time I order, it's going to cost some money. And I'm going to multiply that by the number of orders. So if it costs $10 and I order twice, it's going to cost me $20. So how many orders do I make and how much does it cost per order? And then storage costs. equal to cost per table to store and the number of tables that we're going to store. So that's that's what we're looking at. Now so let's put this into numbers. So we're ordering costs. Each time I order, it's going to be $21 plus $14 times the number of tables in the order. So that's the cost per order. And the number of orders I'm going to make is going to be 105 over x. So basically, how many, if there, I order one table at a time, I'll have 105 divided by 1, or 105 orders. If I have 5 per order, I'll have 21 orders, etc. So it's the total number divided by number per order will give us the total number of orders. Those are our ordering costs. And the storage cost. It's going to be 
ten dollars per year times the average number of tables we'll have in storage at any one time. So that gives us cost function will be So it's 2,205 oh, over x plus 1,470 plus 5x. So this is our cost function, and to minimize that cost. As we've done before, we want to find when the derivative of cost is equal to zero. So let's this up here start over so what is our derivative cost so we have Five times x to the negative one plus five x plus fourteen seventy. So that's that's our cost function, and so the derivative is going to be negative twenty two. 5 times x to the negative 2 or negative 2205 over x squared plus 5. So when is that going to equal 0? So when will negative 2205 over x squared plus 5. When will that equal 0? Well, when 5 equals 2205 over x squared. Or, do a little algebra. So we've got x squared equals four hundred and forty-one. So x equals plus or minus twenty-one, and of course we're only going to have a positive value. So it looks like each order we will have twenty-one tables. And if we take our total tables, divide by tables per order, we'll get five orders. So, to minimize costs, we should place five orders per year. each of 21 tables.